I don't know about you, but I've always just dreamed of being a dispatcher, being, I don't know, a telemarketer, uh, being somebody who sits on the phone for long periods of time and just has one of those really cool headsets. Okay, that was a lie. That was a complete and utter lie. Uh, I've never dreamed of doing that. I actually don't know what my dreams were as a child. But anyways, um, speaking of those cool headsets, the fine people at Antlion Audio decided to send me something called the Kimura. Kimura? Kimura? Chimera? But anyways, what it is, it's one of my favorite things mixed with another one of my favorite things which that is IEMs and microphones. If you don't know who Antlion Audio is, they are a Portland based company who specialize in making, I guess it would be like inline microphones or um, additional microphones that you'd see on somebody that's using it for something along the lines of like VR or somebody who just doesn't want a big mic set up in front of their face. So they use the Antlion Audio mod mic or the mod mic wireless which are fantastic pieces of equipment and actually before i even started streaming when i just wanted to do a little bit of online gaming i had a nice pair of sennheisers that i actually bought a mod mic for and i used that thing until i didn't and i got like a nice <laughs> uh electro voice mic but anyways they're known far and wide for their microphones and how well they work, especially for it being like a relatively affordable thing. They decided to send me out the Chimera line, uh, and that consists of the Duo and the Solo. So what these are, they are like the, like the mod mic that you know and love, but instead of connecting to just like a regular pet set of over ear headphones, they actually connect to IEMs, which we all know how much I love IEMs and how much it's become a problem. So the thing with this is there are two separate versions of this. Uh, like I said, the Mod Mic Solo and the Mod Mic Duo. The differences between those are actually how the IEMs are. Um, with the Solo, it has a single dynamic driver, which we all know it's just like it's a good entry level into IEMs kind of thing. And with the Duo, it has a balanced armature and a dynamic driver. So you get a little bit, a little bit of best of both worlds. Uh, they decided to send me over Kimura Duo, which actually comes with the mic and the IEMs. And with the Duos, you get an MXCX connector, which you, if you don't know what that is, it's just kind of like a, a little plug it, as compared to like the two pins, it's just like a tiny little circular plug that actually moves around and gives you a little bit more mobility, which is actually really cool. And on top of that, they also sent me the two pin version of the microphone, which I'm able to utilize with my pre-existing two pin IEMs that I already use anyways, whether it be my uh, my Dusk 2s or whether it be my Letchures. Or honestly, if I wanted to, I can just use them with any of the truth ears that I've decided to purchase on my way to I am greatness. And by greatness, I mean poverty. I'm going to be broke by the time I'm done buying all of the IEMs that I want, because truth ear are also just a, you know, we're, we're not getting into that. But anyways, what's included whenever you buy the Mod Mic Duo? We're going to talk mostly about the Mod Mic Duo, because the Mod Mic Duo has a little bit of a kit that we're able to kind of talk about and what you get inside of that kit. Because when you buy when you buy the just the mic, you're just getting the mic. You're getting the mic and you're getting some additional things that come along with it. But whenever you buy the full setup, whether it be the solo or the duo full fledged sets, you get the mic, you get the IEM, you get an adapter. Uh, we'll kind of go into the adapter a little bit later. You get extra tips and you get a carrier case, which honestly, in my opinion, is kind of clutch and I absolutely love it. It is um, small yet organized and I love it. Before we get to the IEMs, which we all know that I'm kind of very interested in, we're going to kind of go into the mic. It, it, and what is an inline mic? An inline mic is something that goes between the source of whatever you're recording to, to the headphones. And a lot of the time, like different companies like Corsair have like little cords that kind of attach in between whatever line input to your headphones. And it goes kind of between that and it has a little mic attached to it. I don't dig those all too much, but with this, it's an omnidirectional 1, uh, 100 hertz to 
10 kilohertz frequency response. I'm reading off something, by the way. Don't mind me. I'm not good at remembering these details off the top of my head. But anyway, sensitivity negative 42 decibels, which is actually pretty good. Impedance is 2.2 ohms, and that's max. Um, it has a maximum input sound pressure of 115 dBs. Let's get into what like this would be perfect for. Like the whole setup, the whole shebang, the whole kit and caboodle. So this is something that would be honestly perfect for people who don't like to have large setups in front of them, i.e. like casual gamers or people who maybe take the occasional web call and they don't want to do it off of their extremely terrible laptop mic and respect. Another thing it would be perfect for is somebody who's doing something like with VR, because VR has a 3.5 millimeter jack. And with that, you're able to actually connect the connect everything into it and it works and you're able to hear and you're able to talk through it and it's perfect. And, and in my opinion, it is kind of I feel like that is the perfect scenario for this. I mean, that and taking teams calls, because my God, this thing has been extremely useful for taking Teams calls. And if you take Teams calls, you'll understand what I'm talking about. You know how bad it is just listening to somebody on the other line, just using their laptop mic and speakers and it's just bleeding into everywhere. You don't want to be that person. Don't be that person because that's that's terrible. And nobody should live like that ever. The thing that's actually cool about this, especially with the microphone, is it has two lines that come out of it. It has a left line and a right line, left line and a right line. Pardon me, dyslexia. But anyways, what it does is it actually terminates into a Y splitter. And if you don't know what a Y splitter is, it's this. So basically you have the 3.5 and then you have the two line ends. What that is, is one line is for the microphone and the other line is for the headphones. And the benefit of that is there's no bleed in from either line and you don't get any, any interference. It basically terminates into this adapter, which kind of cuts off all of that, like I said, interference and then plugs directly into all of the devices that you're kind of putting it into. I will say some people might not like this and some people might find that this right here is not as functional for certain things that they're trying to plug into, uh, whether it be like some sort of, I don't know, a 3.5 millimeter jack that actually has like a little bit of a, an indent into it, kind of because this doesn't really leave a lot of uh, room for devices that are, I don't know, like um, a camera, if it actually works like that, or the 3.5 millimeter underneath a phone for the phones that actually still have those. Personally, I think that this might have I don't know. I, I, I feel like it might have been better as a um, as a cable rather than like a blocky adapter. But that's just me. And the scenarios that I'm kind of thinking of might not be the scenarios that you're kind of going into. But so I guess um, since we talked about the mic and kind of what it what it is, I'm going to insert a little sound clip right here. This is without using the Antlion Audio Chimera. Kimura. Let me know in the comments how that sounds and how you like that compared to something like this. This right here is using the Antlion Audio Kimura. Using the headset. So which which one do you like better? One of my favorite parts about this, we're not gonna we're getting into the IEMs, which I love microphones, but one of the things that interested me is Basically, I was very curious about how Antlion decided to make their IEMs. And because of that, uh, I was very excited about it. <laughs> the cool thing about this is, is since it has a... First, let's get into the physical bits. This, like I said, is an MM MMCX. I hope I got that right. I'm going to put it right here if I got it wrong. MMCX is what I have for my duos. And because of that... I actually bought an additional cable so I can actually listen to these outside of just using them with the mic. And I never realized like how honestly freeing the uh, the MMCX connector is, because, I mean, if you think about it, you have a specific set of 
motions that you're able to use when you use a two pin is like it goes in and it goes in and there's nothing really you can do about it. You can kind of position it a little bit if you want to, but with the MMCX, you're able to actually move it like this. I yeah, like this. And because of that, you're able to position it into your ear a little cleaner and you're able to position it behind your ears a little cleaner. And it feels a lot better to actually listen to uh, without it actually hurting your ears because of the random pressure applied by it kind of not being in the right position, which I know you're probably going to say, well, why don't you just move in? It's just like sometimes it slips out. It, it happens. By the way, when I come to when it comes to sound, we're going to completely just like I said, I only got the duos, so we're not going to really talk about the, the solos because the duos are kind of like the penultimate version of their IEMs, because like I said, not only does it have the dynamic driver, but it also has a balanced armature. It, it's very focused on like a V shape, and I'll put the um, the frequency response like right here in front of my face. I guess when it comes down to it, you get very um, you don't get super bassy, but you also kind of don't get super trebly. It's it's not it sounds good, but it doesn't really emphasize a lot of anything. And, and it kind of just kind of just sounds good to the ear. I personally love using these and I've used these for the last couple months. And because of that, um, I've noticed a little bit of intricacies that it has. So these are made out of a so the duo has a resin housing. And as compared to something like um, you would see with the truth ear red that kind of looks like it's resin. It's not. It's actually a um, 3D printed polymer. And because of that, it's a lot lighter. But with this, it is a lot heavier. Resin is a lot heavier than 3D printed stuff. And my lord, I thought it was going to be terrible and I thought it was going to hurt my ears. In fact, having that little bit of heft to them, I guess, brought them in, pushed them in, and they kind of just stayed there instead of slipping out, like having the additional weight on there kind of pushed them into my ears more steadily instead of it being like light as hell and just like popping out. So because of that, I guess the results may vary for how, whoever's ear ears you're putting it into. Uh, and by you're putting it into is just like whoever's putting it in. Don't put them into other people's ears because that's really weird. But anyways, I digress. So. With these, I'm using the default uh, tips that it comes with because honestly, they're not bad. And also a little FYI, it comes with filters that go inside of here. And because of that, you're going to get a specific sound because of those filters. But this really on initial insert, I thought it was going to hurt a little bit because they don't look entirely too small, but the nozzles aren't as big as you would see on something like the the Moondrop Blessing 2s. Um, those things are too wide and my God, uh, it works well when you want a really good seal. But a lot of the times if you have narrower canals, it, it, it hurts a lot. Like I said, resin, it's honestly beautiful. This right here, I personally thought was like one of the best things that came with this because you put it into your ear and this little lip right here rests perfectly right here and it it fits directly and perfectly into your ear in my opinion for my ears just want to put a disclaimer right there because I know everyone's going to be like well my ears are different and I get it everyone's ears are different for me this works perfect and it feels great. Um, and because of that, I've been using them for a while. Like I said, I got them a few months ago. Uh, I've been utilizing, I've been using them. And because of that, I kind of have a little bit more of a an understanding of how they sound and how they work as compared to some of the other some of the other reviews where I kind of get I get too antsy and I decide to just make them after a week of using them. These ones I've kind of gone long term. And because of that, uh, like I said, I have more of an understanding personally, I guess one. So we've kind of talked about the IEMs and we've kind of talked about the microphones. So we're going to talk about them together. So one of the like benefits of having this little setup is it's portable. One of the downsides is both of these cables are unbalanced. So sometimes you might actually feel you might actually hear a little bit of EMI, which is like electromagnetic interference, which if you're somebody that's super into audio, you will notice it and it will bother you. I will say they kind of shared a little bit of a workaround for that, and I will include the link to the active noise suppression without RTX voice 
uh, article that they decided to send to me just in case I had any of these issues. But I haven't really heard any of that. And because of that, it, I'm very thankful <laughs> because I haven't had to do any additional steps. I, as long as you don't have a bunch of, I guess in this case, like a bunch of different audio devices plugged into the same circuit, you should be good. And if not, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. So. So because this company kind of prides themselves on a few things, um, they're really, really putting a lot of resources into the Chimera line. Like right now, they're kind of going through and um, with every time that maybe somebody sends something back for an RMA, they're they're writing that down and they're improving it for the next waves or the next batches or might even be like the Chimera 2. But they do they they do a lot when it comes to the input of the consumers and that is fantastic. And I will say like one of their best aspects is the fact that they have probably one of the best customer services that I've ever experienced with anybody. And I cannot downplay that. So if you end up buying any of these and it doesn't end up working, just reach out to them and they will get you situated because they are absolutely fantastic. I guess to, I guess to wrap this up, um, this thing is something I didn't know I needed. Um, especially whenever it comes to a lot of the stuff I already have. Like I already have a bunch of IEMs. I already have like a bunch of really good microphones. But when it comes to something like, I guess, like I said, Teams calls at work and everything like that, this thing has been key. It has been absolutely key. So to sum it up, these things are fantastic. I cannot recommend them enough because realistically, you're buying a set of IEMs and you're getting a mic for free or you're buying a mic and you're getting a set of IEMs for free. These things are good to just listen to on their own. And I have been doing that and they have been fantastic and I have been loving them. In the description, I'm going to put a link to the cameras. And just to let you know, these things have a full two year warranty, just like the mod mics. So if anything happens, reach out to them, please, for the love of God. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed what you watched here today because I enjoyed making it and it was a long time coming. Let me know in the comments whether or not you already own something from Antlion Audio, whether it be the mod mic or whether it be the mod mic wireless. And if you don't, what would you like to see from them next? And on that note, I love you. I appreciate you. And I can't wait for you to love me more and more each day. Um, on that note, I, um, I'm going to go. Bye.